loves, thanks for returning. I hope this video finds you happy and doing well. As you know by the thumbnail, this video is going to be me testing out some new drugstore slash affordable products. So if you're interested, then just keep watching. All right, so I've got some products here that I want to use and just kind of talk about, but I'm gonna go ahead and do the spoiler alert first. I do have some fails in here and so much so to I feel like I want my money back, but let me just go ahead and not focus on the negative. I'm gonna start off with telling you all what I have on my face. I will have timestamps below just in case you wanna skip all this and you only wanna see a particular product. You can certainly do that. But I do have some products from the lip bar and as many of you all know, they have a new Just A Tint skin conditioner. Of course I have it on now and it's lovely so far. Of course I haven't done a wear test. This is you know my first time using it. Um, you're not going to be able to build it up. It's pretty much a very light conditioning tint. I would say that this would be excellent for dry skin and it does look really, really dewy um, before it's actually set with the powder. Of course, you don't have to do that if you don't want to, especially if you're only going to use a little bit, but this is so divine. It does have an SPF in it and it doesn't have a scent, which I can really appreciate. I did pick up their blush and and their setting powder and these are really nice too very pretty and as you can see as always I go ham on the blush uh, but yeah these are really nice I also have on my eyes two of these so fierce palettes and these are really good these are some really good shadows if you are a no fuss kind of lady and you don't want to deal with all of the other bigger palettes that are out there and you need something that's going to apply really fast and blend really fast the only thing that are drawbacks to these out of all of these palettes i think there's only like two true mattes so you know it that, that's it but other than that i think that these are some really solid eyeshadow palettes because you can get a really quick foolproof look on because they blend out so well um but i must say that the metallics can be a little bit flaky so if you are going to you know if you are going to do a complexion like have on a foundation or anything like that i would suggest doing your eyes first and then doing your face i did pick up this little booger right here and this is the real techniques uh, miracle sponge i was bamboozled into buying it here it is right here <laughs> I low-key want my money back and when I saw them demo it in the commercial the sponge was wet and it actually they they dipped it in their powder because she was like oh you can dip it in your powder and you won't get heart pain you won't get anything da 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 because this little uh, groovy type thing is actually uh, separating the water part from the from the powder and now I have heart heart and now I have hard pan on my powder. Plus, it you, it, it almost kind of still looks wet. On top of that, now that I'm looking at my sponge, it's done this little funky like hump thing. It, it's no longer smooth, so no. <laughs> Please, if you're trying this, or if you wanna try it, save your money on it, just, just go ahead and pass. Another fail for me was the Arches and Halos. This product is in Target, and I this is one of their pens. And the reason it's a fail for me is because when you go to apply or do your brows, it it just, it, it's too wet and you get too much pigment on at once. And I know you're probably like, well, isn't that a good thing? Not when it's wet. Um, if it if it was like a solid pencil, but when you're dealing with a pen and you get a big blob, juicy blob of that, it's just, it's a mess. And this was a epic, epic <laughs> fail for me. I kind of made it work during the video, but no, this, mm -mm. I didn't like that one. Now getting back into the positive, I did love the LA Girl lipsticks and uh, these are new. These are the ones with the magnetic finish and you get the little lip on one end and these are just really, really nice. And look how shiny they are. I have it on my lips now and it almost looks like I could have on 
low-key a gloss like let me apply a little bit more i was eating see how shiny that is now you do have to be careful because it does transfer on your teeth uh just like any lipstick i guess but these are really nice and they're only four no 4.99 5.99 really inexpensive love these i gotta give me some more of these i do have on cara beauty's eyelashes i got these at tj maxx for like three dollars uh some time ago now the next thing is a highlighter and it's by Bill Billion Dollar Beauty. Are you all familiar with that brand? I stumbled across this brand at Target. Got this highlighter, comes in a package like this, and I have it on now. And I did not think that this highlighter was going to be so nice, especially for a couple of dollars. And I just put it in my Z palette. Here it is right here. And initially when I got it home and I swatched it, I was like, oh my goodness, what is this monstrosity? <laughs> but anyway, I actually like it. It's really nice. They have eyeshadows and I think it was something else that they had. Uh, I'm not sure, but really like the highlighter. And then the last thing that I did pick up is the Wet n Wild Brow Sessive. This is their brow shaping gel. Have this on now and it serves its purpose. You know, I've powdered my face and my brows haven't budged. Um, <laughs> even mixed with this little burger right here. I really like this. It's really nice, especially for the price. All the other products that I have on my face are pretty much my co-favorite. Just things that I absolutely love. So you'll see me using those, of course. And that's pretty much it. I hope you all are still interested. If so, let's get into the look. All right, so we're gonna start off with brows, as you all already know. And not sure if you all have heard of Arches and Halo. This is a brand that's in Target, and it appears as though they just really specialize in brow products. And I decided to pick up their Fine Bristle Tip Pen. Comes in a box like this. And the shade that I picked up is Auburn. And the packaging is pretty classic to all of the other brands out there. This is what it looks like. Okay, and this is the tip and there is a little swatch So I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of brush my brows up a little bit and I'm gonna go in And just draw me some light strokes All right, so this pen is okay. What I don't like about it is that um, all of the pigment just kind of collects at the tip. And then when you, you all probably already noticed that when I was actually applying the brows is that, you know, you just kind of get these big clumps of pigment and it doesn't, it just kind of makes it, Difficult to apply if you are one of those people that just kind of slowly wants to build up. That's the only thing. But anyway, on to the next product that I have, and this is the Brow Sessive by Wet n Wild. This is the packaging that it comes in, and this is what it looks like. So the color that I have it in is brown, and I'm just going to kind of scrape off the excess on the edge of the little packaging. Okay, so this is pretty nice. It appeared to do the job. I really won't know until I get on all of my makeup and I start applying powder to see if it's really gonna, you know, keep my brows in place. But um, as far as combining the two shades together, it appears to be working out okay. You know, you can definitely let me know what you think, but I'm gonna go ahead and carve out my brows and then we'll get into the eyeshadow. All right, so I'm going to go in with the eyeshadow palette and I think that I'm just gonna use a combination of the, all of these little So Fierce palettes. But first I'm gonna go in with Slight, back, slight Flex and I'm gonna start off with this green right here and I'm gonna start off by placing that in my crease. I'm 
Okay, and I'm gonna try to buff it out and bring it up just a little bit higher. And to me, these shadows are so smooth and easy to use. And I'm bringing it out a little bit right here, but I am going to clean that up. Okay, and then for this part right here, the inner part of my crease, I'm gonna go in with the That's A Dub, and I'm gonna use this chocolate shade, and I'm gonna put that deeper into my crease. See if I can kind of deepen that up a little bit. Be interesting to see if I can get these to layer. All right, so for a brow bone highlight, I think I'm just going to use the powder that I'm gonna use because for my brow bone, um, I don't really like using shimmers or metallics. All right, so I'm gonna pop back into Slight Flex and I'm gonna put this shade right here, right up in here. And I'm gonna try wetting my brush to see if I can make the shade pop just a little bit more. And I think for my inner eye highlight, I'm gonna go in with, what is this? The Big Bang, and I'm gonna use this shade right here. And I'm gonna pop that right there in the corner. All right, so this next one is an eyeliner that I've used before. This is the Line Art Matte Eyeliner by NYX. And I'm just gonna go ahead and do a little small line. Okay, and let me just show you the lashes that I'm gonna use before I go ahead and go off camera and finish this eye. I found these Cara Beauty eyelashes, and these are Fabulashes by Cara Beauty. And here they are. These were really cheap. These were at TJ Maxx for $3.99. So hopefully they look right. I'm gonna go in, do this eye, apply the lashes, and I'll be right back. All right, so I'm back with the lashes on and the eyes completed. So these are really nice. The only thing about these shadows is that um, I wish that there was a true matte in them. So um, that's the only thing. And the metallics are just kind of a bit, um, they're very light and thin and a little bit on the extra flaky side. Uh, but outside of that, they're nice, especially for the money. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and get into the next product. And that would be the Lip Bar Just Tint. Comes in a tube like this. I'm going to go ahead and put some on the back of my hand so you can just kind of get an idea of the consistency. And the shade that I got it in is Honey Dip. And this is it right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and kind of clean up these brows on top. And I don't smell anything, so to me, no fragrance is a good thing. Is it a deal breaker? No, but um, it definitely is a good thing. Let me go ahead and apply some here. And it feels really good on the skin. It definitely is a tint, I think. I'm gonna add some more to see if I can kind of build this up. And you know what's funny about this? It seems like the container or this little tube is empty. I know it's not empty, but it just kind of seems as though it is. I'm not gonna add a lot up under my eyes because I am gonna go in with a concealer. And I'm not sure if y'all can tell, but this is like super hydrating. If you have like dry skin, I know you would love this. All right, so now I'm gonna go in with my ColourPop Pretty Fresh Concealer and I'm gonna go ahead and just add this here.
All right, so I got all of that applied and I'm just gonna go in with my favorite translucent powder uh, by CoverGirl. And I'm going to set my under eye. All right, so now I'm gonna go in with the setting powder by the lip bar, this is it. I love the packaging, isn't that adorable? Here is the shade, and the shade that I have it in is in Golden Girl. So I'm going to use this little sponge by Real Techniques, and this is their Miracle Powder Sponge. This is it right here. Um, I've seen it around and I've been dying to try it out. Um, I don't even know what to call it. It almost feels like some type of velvet, and they say once you have it wet, you can actually dip it in into your powder and it won't mess up your powder so I'm gonna see all right so I got it wet and I'm gonna go ahead and put it in here and I think they lied to me because look at my <laughs> look at my powder um, when they did the demo on YouTube she actually dipped it in and her powder was still dry so I don't know but anyway I'm gonna go ahead and apply it and I think I low-key want my money back I don't like this <laughs> I don't know if I like it it looks so good when she applied it on the video and it just kind of melted into her skin but it doesn't look like it's doing that with mine. Let me add some on my nose. Mmm, yeah. I don't know. I don't know about that. Let me get a brush and <laughs> kind of blend this, this out. I do like the color of the powder, but yeah. The sponge, not so much. Then for bronzer, I'm gonna go in with the Black Radiance True Complexion. I think this is a classic, probably favorite of a lot of people. All right, so I got that all applied and now I'm going to go in with Another lip bar product, and this is one of their blushes, and this is in Top Shelf. Again, it's got that really pretty packaging that is so adorable, and here is the shade. And I'm gonna go in with a big brush only because you all know I like blush. And I just dipped in really lightly. Wow, and even with me dipping in lightly, it's a lot of pigment. Yeah, this shade is so pretty. And you know, it's interesting because I thought that this was probably gonna be a little bit too deep, but yeah, I like it. Now I do think that I went a little ham, so I'm gonna just go back in with my sponge over it, just to kind of erase a little bit of it. All right, so have you all heard of a brand by the name of Billion Dollar Beauty? I saw this in Target. This is one of their blushes. It came in a package like this. And here is the actual blush right here. So this is the one that I'm gonna use. So I did swatch this and it didn't come off as very blinding, but let's just see what we got. Okay, oh, that's pretty. And then I'm gonna put a little on my nose. I'm gonna put a little up here. Wow, that is really pretty. So I'm gonna go ahead and complete my eye look. And for my lower lash line, I'm just gonna go in with a beige Milani pencil and put it on my waterline just to kind of have a brightening effect. And now I'm just going to add my Wet n Wild Mascara. 
All right, and for lips, I'm gonna go in with one of these new LA Girl lipsticks. These are the ones that's got the little lip on top and the shade that I have it in is Scandal. Here it is right here. This is the packaging, super cute. And here's the shade. So I'm just going to go ahead Okay, so I need to add a lip liner. All right, so this is it. This is the final look. <laughs> let me know what you think down in the comments. Also, let me know if you've tried any of these products and if so, what you think about them. Thank you so much for tuning in and until my next video, smooches.